Good morning, ladies. My name is Paula Dunn, and I'm the founder of the Limited Edition Leadership Academy, coming to you live from my home studio. So how are you all this morning? I hope you're all doing well and ready to tackle your, your, high, your school day. So um, today, we're going to talk about uh, understanding our wheel of confidence. So the idea of the wheel of confidence is to really get deep down in understanding where we're at, we're taking an audit of, of how we feel about our confidence levels today. Because in order for us to have what we want to have down the track, which is at the end of 2020, um, we need to really get clear and understand um, what are the current, um, what is our mindset? How are we feeling about ourselves um, to for us to achieve what we want to achieve at the end of the year. So um, yesterday we talked about the be, do and have principles. And the idea of the be, do and have principles is about creating a mindset shift. So it's going from a sense of mindset to creating confidence, to motivation, from motivation to creating courage, and then building momentum so we can create that certainty for the rest of the year. So that's the idea of the be, do and have model. Now, I also got you to have a really deep reflection about what scares you, what terrifies you, what freaks you out about 2020, in particularly those that are currently in year 12 and heading towards the HSC. So I really wanted you to get deep and clear about your fears, you know, everything, that, write it down. Write down every single fear that you currently have in your head because the idea is I want to get all of that negativity out of here and onto a piece of paper because that way we can just really get rid of all the toxic negative chatter from our minds because fear is really an understanding of anxiety or where I, anxiety comes from. And the idea about anxiety is because we don't have control of the circumstances. So, for example, most of us are currently fearing about failure, fearing about our future, and a lot of these fears stem from anxiety. And so how do we quieten the mind of anxiety is to eliminate these fears and getting real with their fears up front right now. It's like letting the, the pink elephant out of the room. So I do hope that you have been able to be real and be raw with yourself and actually write a list of all those fears and all those concerns that you, you currently have. Because today, we're going to really take stock of every aspect of our lives to make sure that we're strong enough within ourselves so we can start laying down a foundation of how of and steps on how we're going to get from, from here to achieving our academic success at the end of the year. So hopefully, please, if you've got a piece of paper in front of you, um, please get a blank sheet of paper and um, a couple of markers or different coloured pens is fine. So what I want to do is talk about the confidence wheel. So first and foremost, this is what a confidence wheel looks like. As you can see, I'm not very arty, artistic, but I know some of you are really good at it. So go for gold. So what I'd like you to do first and foremost um, is draw a circle like this, okay? And for the circle, create yourself um, five different little pieces of pie in the circle. And within the circle, I'd like you to start writing up the top here, goal, motivation, academic results, time management, and support. And once you've done that, I'd like you to put um, a zero here and a 10 in each section of the pie. And once you've done that, I'm gonna walk you through the confidence wheel and you're going to give yourself an honest, true self-assessment of how you feel confidently about every aspect of this wheel. Now, no one needs to see this. It's for your eyes only. So I really urge and encourage you to be honest with yourself. Because if you aren't, the only person you're going to let down is yourself. And as leaders, and in particular limited edition leaders, we, we are brave, we are courageous, and we are authentic. So the idea about us 
is to really go all in and, and face our demons head on. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the first thing, which is goal. Now, what I'd like you to do is think about your goal for the end of 2020. So for example, if it's to, to get a certain ATAR result, um, so you can get into university, then use that as your goal. Write down your goal and give yourself a score by colouring in shading in this area where zero means that you have zero confidence that you think you're going to achieve your goal. So you, you truly believe right this moment in your life that you will not achieve the ATAR result that you want and you will not get into the university and, your, and the course that you want. So give yourself a score here. Now, if you are 100% certain and confident in your that you will achieve the results that you want and you will get into the, the university that you want, then I want you to shade the whole piece of pie here to 10. Now, if you're somewhere in between, shade, shade the area that represents where you think you sit and be honest with yourself. Do it now. Whoop. Might help if I do it, do the right one. Sorry. So something like that. Okay, so the next one is we're going to be looking at motivation. So how motivated are you to get up every day and do your studies? You know, um, do you jump out of bed in the morning and go, you know, face the day and get committed and going, you know, whether you're feeling tired or not, you're there, you're showing up, you're doing what you need to do on a daily basis. Okay, so give yourself a score between zero and 10 on how motivated you feel at this point in time in getting your in in studying and getting your work done. Now the next thing we're going to look at is our academic performance. So, have a think about your end goal and where you want to go. And by now I'm sure you're aware of what kind of ATAR mark you need to achieve to get into into that course of your choice. So again, circle, give, you so, give yourself a score between zero and 10 on how you feel right now your academic performance is and is it currently on par and on the right path to getting to where you want to go. The next one is time management. Now, time management is a, is a tricky one. How much time do you allocate for your for everything that you do in a day yeah so if you've got school hours if you've got school between 8 15 and and four o'clock or three three o'clock then how are you divvying up your time so give yourself a score between zero and ten now if you're spending a lot of your time on social media and playing around and procrastinating rather than doing what you need to do then factor that also in here give yourself a score Then the last one, the last category I want to look at is support. So what kind of support are you getting currently? Um, you know, support from your family members, from, from your teachers, from your school. Um, if you've got a, a tutor, do you have a coach, somebody that's helping you with your, your mental health, um, you know, fitness. So basically, who is on your team that is going to help support you achieve your goal? Give yourself a score between zero having no support to 10 having having 100% support. And it's about what, knowing what you want to achieve. So give yourself an honest score. Now, I want you to have a look at your wheel of confidence right now and highlight the area that scores the lowest. So the one that scores the closest to zero have a look at that particular piece of the pie and have a think about and ask yourself that, you know, why, why is that a low score for you now? What's happening in your life 
that it's, it's causing you to create a low score. Write down your thoughts and be real. So say, for example, you've scored zero in or close to zero in support and you're having challenges with your goal, then what's happening there? Is it because there's a conflict between the desire of what you want to achieve at the end of the year is different to your family or something like that? So it's really getting clear because we want to minimise the stress and anxiety in your life and gain perspective. Now look at look at your wheel, and look at the lowest score that you've you've picked in the piece of the pie. Now what does ten out of ten look like for you? What does it feel like for you? Write write that that down now. Now we're coming close to the end of today's session. So a bit of takeaway um, homework for you to work on on yourself is to now have a look at your entire confidence wheel and really get specific and understanding for each particular area of your wheel. Write down why is it not a 10 out of 10 right now? Then the second question I want you to answer for each section of the confidence wheel is what would 10 out of 10 look and feel like for you? And once you've answered every single component of what each, each component of the wheel 10 out of 10 looks like, then I want you to imagine and say and answer the question, if I have received, if I have obtained 10 out of 10 in every aspect of this confidence wheel, what would my life look like? Okay. So that's all for today. And I do hope that you do follow on and continue working on your confidence wheel throughout the day. And of course, if you have any questions or concerns or you're, you're still confused about, about this, please don't hesitate to drop me an email, um, either a message in the chat box or send me an email. Um, go to my website at nolimitsconsulting.com.au and I will do the best I can to help you out. But for now, have a wonderful day and don't forget to be you have courage and live life with no limits. This is Paula Dunn from the Limited Edition Leadership Academy wishing you a wonderful day. Bye.